Integrity is like job and life insurance. Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to Sabbath School Study Group. My name is Chris Bailey. This is part number three of our five-part series, and we're talking about integrity today. When we're looking at planning for success, the experience of work, there's nothing like working with integrity because that integrity is very much a preserver. It's a keeper, not just for your job, but even for your heart. You know, when I hear that word integrity, um, there are different ideas or definitions that others may have. So we're going to go through the word to see what is God's idea or ideal when it comes to integrity. That brings us now to Psalm. Psalm 25, 21 says the very point about working and living with integrity. It says, let integrity and uprightness preserve me for I wait on thee. So there is the Bible use of that word integrity. It is a biblical concept. And what the psalmist is saying here is that that integrity, whatever it is, we'll get to the definition in a second, it preserves, it keeps, it actually protects, it allows us to stay afloat, it allows us to be shielded from. So if this is what integrity will yield as a benefit, what is it? What does it actually mean? Let's go back to the word because the word gives several other concepts to understand what integrity actually is. See, in Psalm 18, there are several verses where we look at these first three. In verse 20 to 22, it says, The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me and I did not put away his statutes from me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have walked in his statutes. And it talks about clean hands. You know, a lot of people will use that term being caught red handed. And I forgot. I actually forgot where that term. I used to know where that term came from, but it does not come to my mind right now. Look it up after the study. But the opposite of being caught red handed is the idea of not having dirty hands. That's what integrity is. Keeping your hands clean. Some of you may even use the term keeping your nose clean so you can breathe deeply and breathe well and thrive. Keeping our nose clean, keeping our hands clean. This is what integrity is. It's doing what God has said even when no one is looking. Because actually, even when no one is looking, God is totally looking. He's always looking. And integrity is living that life of, of honesty for an audience of one. Not for the crowd, not for social media, not even for glory, not even for, for bag or for money, but because it's what God says. That integrity is repeated here in Psalm 18. Verse 23 continues to say, I am was also upright before him. And I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. Talk about an audience of one. And a life and hands and a way of living where when no one else would know, I have chosen to keep or to put my iniquity away from me. So many applications to this concept that have nothing to do with the job or money, but the Christian life of being obedient, not for reward, but for righteousness sake, to honor God, not to get something from him, but because of what he's already given me, I want to give this back to him. I'm going to keep my hands clean. I'm going to watch what I say. I'm going to watch what I do. I'm going to be careful about how I carry myself. This consciousness comes from a conviction that God is always watching me. And the good news is that if his eye is on the sparrow and we know he's watching us, that means we are never alone. That means our back is never left vulnerable. That means we don't have to look over our shoulder and we don't have to establish ourselves or put our foot down or give people pieces of our mind. Now, when we're at work or even when we're at play, we're in a whole different sphere because we know that we're in his presence. And integrity is one of those things where God says, if you buy into this concept, I'll make sure you'll never be without. And I'm a living witness that even if you're unemployed, God will make sure that you're provided for. And even when you are employed, you will always prosper. It doesn't matter. 
about your financial or your job situation. It's all about that heart. And if you make that decision to keep it real, and to be honest, what did he say there? What did he say? Let integrity and uprightness, yes, they will preserve. I'd rather be preserved than perpetrate.